not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving present your requests to God humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. John 14 verses 1 Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can confidently say the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do? friend. How are you? You're feeling anxious? I'm really sorry. But I think we can both agree that we've all been there before. Life comes up. Um, things happen that weren't in our plans. And anxiety easy to get stuck in our thoughts but praise God that he has left us several Bible verses that can help us combat these thoughts how would you feel if I did some personal attention on you on your face your hair and your scalp and I read you some Bible verses about anxiety you'd be okay with that? okay, well let me pull up some Bible verses I have a list that I made a while back when I was feeling anxious maybe 12 or so verses that I'll read and are you completely comfortable with me touching your face? Okay, perfect. So, I think I'll start off if you don't mind, I'll maybe groom your eyebrows be very gentle and do some face brushing and tracing pray really quick if that's okay and then I'll get into it dear Lord and Heavenly Father thank you that you've given me this friend and I pray that you would help me to comfort them by using your word which is a lamp to our feet and help this person Help my friend to rest in your promises. To rest in the peace that only you can give. I pray that you'd help me to be a willing vessel to give of my time to help my friend relax and enjoy this night. Thinking not about their circumstances, but on your goodness your peace and how we can trust you in all areas of our life we can trust you from 
every little minute detail. And I just pray that you would bless this time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Alrighty. Let me get my little eyebrows bully, okay? So the first verse that I'm going to read is Philippians. Chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, present your requests. transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I love that verse. I'll read it one more time, okay? Your eyebrows are already straight, but I'm just doing this for fun now. Do not be anxious. situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Okay. I see that you have a few eyebrow hairs that are kind of long, so I'm going to snip them a little bit. Okay. Peter chapter 5 verses 6 through 7 Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time cast all your anxiety on him because First Peter chapter five verses six through seven. Face brushing feels good, doesn't it? I'll do it one more time. Okay, just like this, tracing your face. Humble yourself.
Isaiah 41, verse 10 and verse 13. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That was verse 10. Verse 13 says, For I, the Lord, your God, hold your right hand. It is I to you who say to you, Fear not. I am the one Move on to Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 32. This is a longer portion of scripture. I'm sure you're familiar with it already. These are the words of Jesus. I'm going to do a little bit more face tickling, but with a smaller brush. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food in the body, more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap. Or stow away in barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can anyone of you, by worrying at a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in 
all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you
is the way, the truth and the light. Scratch, 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 scratch. Feels good to scratch the scalp. I love how in verse 1 it says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And then he proceeds to tell about heaven. The hope we have in salvation and knowing that we will not just be in paradise, but we will be with the Father. We will be with Jesus and know God fully.
Thank you. 